Biden notoriously has a tendency to get over his skis, if you will. And even on COVID, it feels like he's getting out a little bit ahead of where the team is, saying like he wants 1.5 million vaccinations a day, or saying there might be herd immunity by the end of the summer, which is an earlier projection that you guys officially made. I think he's pushing the team to understand that you couldn't possibly go fast enough in this crisis. To chase an exponentially growing virus is incredibly hard. Do the variants keep you up at night? This thing is dispersed on such a global scale that there could be a strain that comes up that renders the vaccine really ineffective. I, I mean, is that the stuff that, that you worry about at night? I, I only smile because it's like item 50 that keeps me up at night. And look, I, I don't know whether it helps people to feel that I'm not sleeping, but it's hard to sleep when you got all this to do and you got all these things to worry about. And I think that's okay. I think there's sometimes when you probably should have very difficult time sleeping. What's the number one thing that keeps you up at night? The number one thing that keeps me up at night, getting as many people vaccinated as possible, as quickly as possible. You know, what you came in with. Yeah. The Trump administration's plan seems to have been no plan, right? Yeah. There was very little infrastructure set up to, to roll out the vaccine. And you guys have been gentle in your criticism of what you inherited because of the reality that you need Trump voters to get the vaccine too. You need Trump voters to wear masks. You need red states to buy in if we're gonna end the coronavirus pandemic, right? When President Biden says we need to unify the country and this is not a Democrat or Republican issue, this is a public health issue, Congress needs to step up. It's, I think it's shocking to many people that, th that this isn't considered universally a, an emergency and that money for vaccinations, money for schools, isn't like a, a 96 to four kind of vote. This is not something that should break down on party lines. I think people around the country want to be vaccinated. They want to see their schools open safely. And those things can't happen unless Congress gets involved. This is not a solo, this is an orchestra. If you want to actually defeat COVID-19, it's not Yo-Yo Ma, it's the Boston Symphony Orchestra. And we have to be the Boston Symphony Orchestra.